Ciao a tutti! It's Queen Say's channel. Kumusta kayo? I just got home from work and I really want to film this video because this is the second day of July and you've already watched by now my project pan finale of a six month period and now I've chosen another set of makeup items that I'm gonna pan for the whole month of July and again I will challenge myself to be able to use up all these okay, products. So let's, start. Uh, let's go to the eyeshadows. Well you've seen all these eyeshadows from my last project pan and now I am adding two more eye products in here. This is the e.l.f. baked eyeshadow in toasted and this one here which consists of different shades is from Physicians Formula. So I have my old eyeshadows here from my last project pan plus the two of these eyeshadows. And then I also have this pot here. I depotted my Sephora bronzer and H&M bronzer and, um, and the Maybelline dream maybelline sun maybelline dream i can't even okay Remember? okay those three products i practically depotted them and put them here in this little jar from sephora H&M Dark Tan. I hit pan on that one and the Sephora one, I didn't like it. It's too orangey for my skin tone and the Maybelline, I didn't like it because it doesn't show up into my face or into my cheeks. So now I, I combine them together into this little jar so that I can use them as an eyeshadow. And then we will see uh, how much I can consume during this month of July. The highlight from the Sleek Makeup Palette. I was able to consume the highlight so easily. This is what remained. I transferred it again into this very small jar from Sephora so that I can continue using it. And for the eyes, I have two products that I included for the month of July. This is the Shaka Innovative Beauty Eyeliner 06 in Copper. This is a beautiful eye liner that is gorgeous for summer. As you can see, I am wearing it today because I started uh, using these products yesterday, which is the 1st of July. So I really love this color, but I wasn't able to use this in the past. I included this into my decluttering video last summer. Um, I really want to use it a little bit more before uh, throwing it so I still can let go of it. I really like the color. And then the other eye pencil, this is the Mr. Right Now from The Balm eyeliner pencil. This is actually a black retractable eye pencil that is pigmented. This is new actually. I just bought it last year during the time when I first started uh, attending my makeup class. I bought it originally for my makeup kit but uh, I got my hands on the on another black eye pencil that I threw into my makeup kit so I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. I actually did a first impression review last January about this pencil. It is not long lasting. So I, I will try to use it for myself uh, for the whole month of July and we will see. And then I have a couple of face products here. Um, this is a blush from Essence. It is in color peach. It is perfect for oily skin because it is matte and it is actually long lasting. I'm wearing it right now and there's still a little bit on my face uh, even though I have been wearing this since this morning and I love the color. It's very subtle. Of course you can build it up 
and then I have this uh, micro smooth um, whatever the name it is um, this is from Sephora it is a trio you have here your highlighter this is your blush and this is your bronzer I got the wrong shade for my skin tone so I didn't use it for myself as you can see I've almost hit pan into the highlighter this side here because I threw it into my makeup kit when I started attending my makeup class and this is really really gorgeous it is very subtle perfect for everyday look it is not a blinding highlight if you are looking for a metallic blinding highlight this is not for you but uh, I really did use it a lot at school uh, the blush on I'm not a fan of it it is glittery it looks like matte on the pan but when you apply it on your cheeks it's just I can't stand it for myself so that's why I that's why I inserted this into my makeup kit because I cannot use these two products here but other blushes other bronzers and other highlights for my makeup kit so now I'm taking this back and I will still try to work it more so that um, I will be able to judge if I really do like it or not and the bronzer actually the bronzer is not that bad at all when I first bought this I thought it is so dark and and so orangey on my skin tone but actually it's not that bad at all I mean I can definitely try to make it work I'm wearing it right now as you can see I still have it it's definitely long-lasting and yes so that those are the two face products that I will try to use maybe this blush just because I'm not crazy about that blush I can just use it to Together with this Essence Matte Peach Blush, just uh, a little bit of shine here as a blush topper maybe. And then I chose just a couple of lip products. These are the two lipsticks that I chose for this project pan for the whole month of July. This is from Essence. This is the Essence Lipstick 13 Love Me. This is actually a beautiful, beautiful formula. Very, very creamy. It is not matte. Uh, I'm not a fan of matte lipsticks. That's why um, I have this uh, type of lipstick here. As you can see, I love the color. It is on the peach pinkish side. But uh, I cannot wear it alone because it is too light for my skin tone, although it is very gorgeous. It, it just doesn't suit me. I chose this other lipstick so that I can combine them together so that I can wear this. This is from Rimmel London. The shade is number 650, Saved by the Bell. Again this is a creamy creamy lipstick on the peach side a little bit of glitter in it it's like a lipstick and a lip gloss in one product this one i can wear it alone i reached out for this a lot because i love the formula so those are the makeup items that i chose to pan for the whole month of july please do leave a comment if ever you came across these products if you have them what do you think of them and i do encourage you to try out the project pan it is very challenging very fun to, of course it will be very helpful for you to be able to use up all the makeup items that are just sitting there in your drawer or into your vanity so yes uh, i'll see you into the finale at the end of july Thank you for watching and ciao! Ciao a tutti! It's Queen Say's channel. Kumusta kayo? It's already the first day of August. I can't believe it. And now, this is the finale for my project pan for the month of so July. First, I'm gonna show you what happened onto my eyeshadow palette 
these are all the deep potted eyeshadows that I tried to use from January to June. I carried them right through July and I added these two eyeshadows. This is Elf Baked Eyeshadow in Toasted and this one is the Shimmer Strips from Physicians Formula. This month, I was able to have a dent into that eyeshadow from the Wet n Wild Color Icon Palette that wasn't visible from the past few months and then i also used a lot this uh, eyeshadow from pupa milano princess bag palette and i used that a lot this july for setting my eye primer and then i also made a lot of progress in there this is the individual eyeshadow from wet n wild i also hit pan into this eyeshadow it is the shimmer gold I also made a dent into that white shimmer eyeshadow. I am progressing into this pink shimmer. Uh, the e.l.f. Big Eyeshadow in Toasted, I used it like twice or thrice because this color is kind of similar with this one here from the Pupa Milano palettes. They are both shimmers so I wasn't able to touch that yet. And then this one from Physicians Formula, the Shimmer Strips. I use this a lot, this dark brown here. As you can see, with respect to these other four brown shadows, I use that color the most. These are already scraped when I depotted them. I haven't got much use on these four because these four are very very similar to these eyeshadows from the Pupa Milano palette and then let's talk about these two eye products here this is the Shaka Innovative Beauty Eyeliner I started here half of the container but I didn't get much progress I swear I use this a lot I also used it as an eyeshadow base for uh, for this uh, color here but I didn't do that much. I wasn't able to consume a lot. So I'm still there. Then this retractable eye pencil from the Balm. is the right now. I already consumed almost half. Let me show you my notes. Uh, this one. I started here this long. And then I consumed like almost half of it. At the end of July here. I always line my uh, waterline for like almost every day for the whole month of July. It's really pigmented, but the thing about this pencil is that it doesn't last that long. It smudges, so I really need to like kind of set it with a black eyeshadow. I bought three bronzers. I used it more for the eyes. It's still full, of course, for just a month. Then I have two uh, face products here. Okay. Let's go first to the bronzer. I depotted the Sephora Baked Sculpting Trio and the Sleek Makeup Palette. So I put them together here so it will be easier for me to reach out for it. I kind of like dip my face brush there and I can pick up both the colors together. It is kind of like a fourth of the jar so you can see I haven't had any progress yet. And then I have here a jar in which I combined here the Essence Matte Blush and the other one is the blush from the Sephora Baked Sculpting Trio. I put them there together half and half just like the bronzer that I will reach out for them easily. So as you can see, I haven't made a lot of progress in there. And to tell you honestly, I use the Essence blush side more often than the other one. The one from Sephora is not that very flattering on my cheeks. And then I also have this little jar 
I transferred here both the highlight from the Sleek Makeup palette and the Sephora Baked Sculpting Trio. are both here the larger chunks are the ones from Sephora and uh, the powdery one is from sleep make I use this a lot for the whole month of July this is the only highlighter that I reach out for I love uh, the combination of the and two. then last but not the least I have my two lipsticks that I chose to pan this month of July I will show you my progress here I have the Rimmel London I started in here the first one and then I made a very very little progress in there but still you know just for 31 days it's not that bad at all this one from essence I started in here this long uh, this is where I ended a very very small progress in there so I'm gonna show you as you can see uh, do you see the sign the letter E it was very visible at the beginning of the month when I first started and now it is all smudged. So I did use this lipstick a lot. I will still keep both um, until I will be able to finish them. I am satisfied because for 31 days, I wouldn't be able to finish all these products or hit pan or anything. A little by little, I am still optimistic that I will be able to use them more. I am also telling you that for the month of August, I won't be doing the project pan. I will resume my project pan from September to December because August is my special month so I won't be concentrating on any products this month. I want to like freely use my makeup products that I like for a particular day. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video again i'm encouraging you to do the project pan to rotate all your makeup products so that you can use them more i hope you are all enjoying your summer vacation and as always thank you for watching i'll see you on my next video ciao